Hi everybody, I am Azrin. I welcome you to today's lesson on pluralization. You can see the competency and the competency level on the screen. And now let's get started. First, let's see what a noun is. A noun is a word used to name a person, a place, a thing or an idea. Nouns can be singular or plural. Singular means one. Plural means more than one. That means two, three, four or more. Now let's see how to make a singular noun into a plural. Generally, we add S at the end of a singular noun to make it plural. You can see the examples. One car, two cars. One dog, two dogs. One book, two books. One house, two houses. One apple, two apples. There are exceptions in English. Let's see. Right here, when a noun ends in S, C, H, S, H, X, O, Z. We add E, S to make that noun plural. One bus, two buses, one match, two matches, one dish, two dishes, one box, two boxes, one quiz, two quizzes. You can see a small difference here in quiz. What has happened? Yes, we have doubled the last letter and we have added ES to make it plural. Sometimes we do like this when a noun ends in Z. Let's move. When a noun ends in F or F E, we remove the F or F E and add V-E-S to make that noun plural. One leaf, two leaves. One wolf, two wolves. One life, two lives. One knife, two knives. There are exceptions here too, right? Roof, roofs. Cliff, cliffs. Here we add just S to these two words to make plural. When a noun ends in vowel plus y, we add s to make it plural. First, let's see what vowels are. You know, there are 26 letters in English alphabet. Among them, five letters are vowels. They are a, e, i, o, u. Rest of them are consonants, right? So here, when the last letter is Y and before the last letter, if there is a vowel, we just add S to make that word plural. One day, two days. One key, two keys. One boy, two boys. One guy, two guys. One donkey, two donkeys. Let's see some more. Right. When a noun ends in consonant plus Y, we remove the letter Y and add I, E, S. I think you have learned what consonants are in the previous slide. Okay. So look at the word baby. B-A-B-Y, the last letter is Y. Before the last letter, the letter B is there. It is a consonant. So we remove the Y and add I-E-S to make it plural. Baby, babies. Like that, look at the examples. One city, two cities. One baby, two babies. One story, two stories. One party, two parties. 
one country, two countries. Let's move on. When a noun ends in vowel plus O, we just add S to make it plural. One zoo, two zoos. One radio, two radios. One stereo, two stereos. One video, two videos. One kangaroo, two kangaroos. You can see the words. The last letter is O. Before the last letter, there is a vowel. A zoo, last letter is O. Before the last letter, another O is there. A radio, last letter is O. Before the last letter, vowel I is there. Like that, every word has a vowel before the last letter, O. When a noun ends in consonant plus O, we add ES to make the word plural. One hero, two heroes. One echo, two echoes. One tomato, two tomatoes. One potato, two potatoes. Here also we have some expressions. You can see the words piano and photo. They have last letter O. Before the last letter, these words have consonant, but we just add S to make those words plural. In English, there are some nouns which have different plurals. We call them irregular nouns. Look at the examples. One man, two men. One child, two children. One foot, two feet. One tooth, two shoes. One mouse, two mice. One person, two people. There are some more irregular nouns. Here we have some nouns. They don't have a plural form as we discussed earlier. These nouns have the plural as in singular. You can see the examples. One sheep, two sheep. We don't say sheeps. There's no different, no change in singular and plural. One deer, Two deer, one fish, two fish, one series, two series, one species, two species. Okay, I think we have uh, discussed all the parts of pluralization. Now it's time to do an activity. Let's see. Okay, that's the correct plural of the word. You can see. After every blank, there's a word within brackets. You have to write the plural form of the word in the blank. You can post the video and do the activity. Okay. Now, what, what is this? All nouns do not have plural form. Nouns that not have a singular or plural form are called uncounted nouns. This is an important point for you. That means not all nouns have plural form. Right? Normally uncountable nouns, they do not have plural forms. Okay, hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching. Bye.